Okay, hello. Kumusta tanan, no? And karon, no? I will be discussing, no, a definite integral, no? Now, actually there are two types of integral, no? So one is the indefinite and the other one is the definite. So the difference with this, no, with the indefinite is that this integral contains a limit of integration. No? So, as you say, there is a limit of integration, there is an integrand, no? f of x, no? then there is a resulting function only after integration, no? following the same formula with, integ uh, with indefinite integral, no? you will arrive with the function, but there is no presence of c involved. No? Instead, you will be considering the limits of integration. The value of the definite integral is a real number. No? So that real number value is obtained by taking a difference of two function values evaluated from the upper limit. No? You substitute the upper limit first to your f of x. No? Then you can have the lower limit also be substituted. So there you have a difference of two function value. That difference is the value of your definite integral. Okay? Now, <coughs> it follows the same properties or evaluated on the same manner as indefinite integral. But there is no constant of integration involved in the f of x. The definite integral is defined only or it has a real number value if the function f is continuous. No? The small letter f, the integral, no? is continuous in a closed interval no? from a to b. And it is said to be integrable over that interval. If the function has discontinuity at some point in between a to b, then we call that integral no, as improper integral. No? Now, it is also considered improper integral no, if there is an upper or lower limit which is an infinity or both limits of integration is infinite. Now, if you are asked to solve for the integral or the definite integral of the given no so we have the integral with limits of 1 to 4 for the function x times 2 minus the square root of x no so you have to integrate on the same manner as in the indefinite no so in order to arrive with integrable form i can distribute my x no over 2 minus square root of x so what's the resulting integrand so there I have 2x minus x times x to power 1 half. The square root of x is the same as x to power 1 half. Now I combine them as 1. So I take my x to contain a power of 3 halves because I have 1 here plus 1 half in the law of exponent. So I can have the integral of every term. No? So I'm using a power rule of integration. So there I have x squared over 2. So 2 is eliminated minus x to power 5 halves over x to power 5 halves, so I just take the reciprocal for my constant coefficient. Now, limits are considered from 1 to 4, so I have to substitute the upper limit first. No? So there I have 4 squared minus 2 fifth times 4 raised to power uh, 5 halves. Then the function value can be obtained here as the value of the function at upper limit minus 1 is substituted. I have 1 squared minus 2 fifth times 1 to power 5 halves. So when it's evaluated, I obtain 16 over 5 minus 3 fifth. So all in all, I have a value for my definite integral, which is 13 over 5. Again, so we have the integral of x over a quantity x squared plus 1 raised to cube, no? With limits of 0 to 1. Okay? So how to evaluate? Now, since I will be evaluating this on the same manner as in indefinite integral, I'm checking the degree of my expression that is raised to cube. No? Now, it has a degree of 2 while the numerator together with the dx, no? your x here has a power of 1. No? So, I can make use of my quadratic function as my u. No? But in order to use a power rule of integration, I can rewrite my given as this. No? So, I have the integral of uh, the quantity x squared plus 1, no? raised to a power minus 3, x dx form, no? so with limits of 0 to 1. No? Now, my u here, I want to use a power rule of integration, 
My u is x squared plus 1. My du is 2x dx. So, what is needed here to have an exact du? Because this is lacking with 2. No? 2 must be inserted and we can balance that with 1 half. No? Okay? Then, I can proceed with the integral. No? Because this is now taking a form of u to power minus 3 and a du. Okay? So, from power rule, we have 1 half multiplied with Okay, so x squared plus 1, the exponent now becomes minus 2 because 1 is added and it's divided with n plus 1, so we have minus 2 in the denominator. I have a constant factor of negative 1 fourth, where I have a function 1 over, changing the power to positive, we have a quantity x squared plus 1 raised to power 2, limits s from 0 to 1. Okay, so substitute the upper limit, I may not include the constant na lang, no? so... I just substitute the upper, then lower limit to the ratio 1 over the square of x squared plus 1. No? So, substituting, we have 1 squared plus 1 for the denominator of my first term minus 1 over. So, 0 squared plus 1, entirely raised to 2. Okay? When it's evaluated, I arrive with a value of ter uh, 3 over 16. Now, the good thing with definite integral, because... This can be evaluated directly through calculators, provided your calculator is equipped with a function in integration. So first, we have to check if integration is there present in your calculator. No? Okay, so where to look, uh, to look at the function in integration? Okay, so integration is actually a function in the bottom of your calculator. Actually, the second function of this is differentiation. So, if by last semester you were able to use differentiation, so you can easily relate that with integration. So, to use the differentiation being a second function, that is why you have to pass through uh, pressing shift, then you can press the same button to activate the differentiation. So, you are doing that now, or you are using that maybe last semester. No? So, now we have integration, and this is a first function. Now, so it is present on the calculator upon checking. So, next that you are going to do is as that. Oh, so, put your calculator on and once it is on, we can activate the function in integration. So, pressing that button, okay, so there, it will display A, the operation in integration. So, do na mga space provided for limits and there is also a space provided for the, for the integrand. Okay, now, let us work with number 1, no, by calculator. Okay, so this is the given, no? So, I can now be reading to input these functions or the given into my calculator. Okay, so this will exactly be displayed in your calculator, especially when the calculator use is like this, no? Okay, so we have, actually you can input first the variable x. So, to input x, so you can press alpha then you lock for x which is skinny okay alpha x then open parenthesis where is the open parenthesis this one okay this is an open parenthesis then two minus the square root then alpha x alpha then x then you are with the radican so you can press the arrow key to exit no then you can press the, this one you can click the Close parenthesis, then you can press also an arrow key so that you can now transfer to the limits. Okay, so we have one, then arrow key up, so you have four. So this will be placed in the display, and when you press equals, then this will appear as the answer. Now, so easy, you can easily arrive with the answer now by just uh, using your calculator. So there you have the final answer. Okay, so nothing to worry with a definite integral just to practice now my number two can also be evaluated this way now with my calculator ready for the function okay so we have the function which is fractional the ratio is no x over no so we have a fractional operation which is this one you can assign x by pressing alpha then click x sir. okay then down, arrow down, then you can have open parenthesis, alpha, x, then square, okay, plus 1, then close, then raise to cube. Okay, then 
arrow, then you can have the limit. You can assign what value? 0 to 1. And you, when you press equals, immediately the answer can be provided, which is 3 over 16. No? So as easy as that. No? So nothing to worry no? in the definite integral. No? Now, as additional example, what if, I'll, if I'm going to work with function which is trigonometric in form? No? Okay, so this is how to do that. If you are using or if you are evaluating a function involving trigonometric function, take note that the limits of integration in a definite integral are real numbers. Now, so these values are in region. That is why you need to have your calculator be set in a region mode. Why? Because limits are in uh, are real numbers. So these are in region unit. So that's why we need to have a region mode of our calculator. Okay? So, once it is in region mode, no? for sine function, so it is evaluated as this. No? You can press an open parenthesis, then you can input sine. There is no theta no? In, uh, in integration because our variable of integration, the dummy variable or the variable they use is x. So, instead of using theta, you can just have x. Anyway, Ang ato karong definite integral is not affected with the variable because the value or the answer of which is a real number, not in terms of a variable, no? Okay, so just follow how it is then. So click open, parenthesis, you can have the sine function, then there is an open parenthesis, alpha x, then close. Then again close, no? Then raise to the fourth power. So do not follow a form as in the given. No? So the exponent are in the tributang sa gawas, no? which is 3 to the fourth power. And then arrow k. And then you can have the limits. 0 to pi over 2. So there I have equals and the answer is now displayed. No? So to have the answer, so it's easy. No? Basta do not forget that if you are using, if you are evaluating a trigonometric function, Always set the mode of your calculator to region. So this is in region. Okay? So that's all for the definite integral. So I hope I'm adding no, something for you to learn no, and to make you yourself and to make yourself ready for your examination. No? Okay, so thank you and I hope no, even is share sa uban now because by doing this, no, by sharing this to others, no, nga wa ka tultol sa aton channel, no, so you are also helping them, no, so subscribe, na, and share to others, no, so wa pa ka subscribe, so subscribe para ganado sa ta magsigi o share sa atong mga ginagmay ng antiguhan dere, okay, so thank you and have a good day.